Hanuman deeply adored Lord Ram and followed him everywhere. Being his prime devotee, he would try and make use of every opportunity when he could serve his Lord. He was ready to go to every nook and corner of the world, to the high heavens and to the deepest depths of the earth to serve Lord Ram. However, as a result of his selfless service, Lakshman, Shatrughna, Bharat and Sita felt that they were deprived of the rights and opportunities to serve Ram in any way. Hanuman would finish all their tasks in no time. One day, the three brothers approached Sita with folded hands. Hmm, what brings the three of you here together? Mother, Hanuman completes every desire of our brother Ram. Whether it is small or big, we feel that we should also get an opportunity to serve our brother. We feel like we are being deprived of our right and this is tormenting us. Yes, mother. We came here with the hope that you will be able to set things right for us. Sita, who herself had felt deprived of service to her husband, saw this as an opportunity. What you say is true. I agree with you all. All of us should have an equal opportunity to serve the Lord. But how are we going to set this right? If you have any ideas, please let me know and we shall do so accordingly. After much discussion, they came to a conclusion. We have to prepare a royal declaration stating how each one of us will serve Lord Ram from sunrise to sunset. That's fine. But now, the question is, who will get Brother Ram's signature? Leave that to me. I assure you that I will get it signed by the Lord. On hearing this, the three brothers left the place with full satisfaction. Having prepared the declaration, Sita says to Ram, My Lord, please sign this royal declaration. Sita, what is this all about? Your brothers have requested you to sign this declaration so that they will be able to serve you. Ram read the declaration and understood his brother's intentions. As Hanuman's name was not included in it, he merely smiled and signed the declaration. The next day, copies of the declaration with the royal seal on them was distributed far and wide. Bharat and Sita took their positions near Ram. Unaware of all these changes, Hanuman walked straight to his usual position near Ram. Staman, from today, the services of the Lord has been divided between all of us. Your presence here is no more required. Hanuman was shocked. From when was this declaration put into effect? Hanuman was given a copy and when he read it, he was shattered. This is not right. My name is missing from the list of names of the people who can serve the Lord. Yes, that's true. But you can choose other service that is not listed. <sighs> okay. Please, give me the opportunity to snap my fingers whenever my Lord yawns. Oh, yes, this is something that you can do. Then I request that the Lord's signature and seal should be put on this declaration so that there is no argument later. Since there was no objection, Ram signed another declaration. Immediately, Hanuman took his position near Ram and looked at his face attentively, waiting for him to yawn. Hanuman followed Ram wherever he went. Thus, Every minute, Hanuman looked for an opportunity to serve the Lord. When Ram sat for lunch, Hanuman sat next to him without eating his own food. His eyes did not leave his Lord's face even for a second. As night fell, Ram went to bed 
while Hanuman stood dutifully beside him. Midnight approached, but Hanuman did not move from his position. Sita saw Hanuman and said, My son, from morning you have not eaten anything nor have you taken a break. Now the Lord is sleeping, so you can leave. Hanuman thought that the Lord might yawn any time and therefore he should not miss his chance to serve him. But he did not want to argue with Sita. So he went up to the terrace above Ram's bed. Ram, 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 Ram. Chanting Ram's name, Hanuman started snapping his fingers. At the same time, Ram started yawning. He yawned continuously and felt very tired. Then suddenly, he opened his mouth and it got stuck. Sita saw this and got frightened. She called Ram's brothers and the whole family gathered around him. Lakshman, call for the best physician. I cannot bear the sight. After a while, as a result of his mouth being open, Ram's eyes started to water. On seeing this, everyone started weeping. Hearing this news, Guru Vasishta reached there immediately. Ram saw his Guru and paid specs to him. The Guru read the situation and immediately noticed the absence of Hanuman. Where is Hanuman? He is missing at this moment of need. <sighs> I think we have made a mistake. We have judged Hanuman unfairly. We stopped him from doing what he considered to be his duty, serving Lord Ram. And yet, when we decided to take over serving the Lord, all he asked for was the opportunity to snap his fingers when Ram yawned. The whole day he sat beside Lord Ram. His attention didn't even waver for a second. But when Lord Ram fell asleep, I asked him to go and get some rest. I'm afraid I might have hurt his feelings. He was very upset when he left the premises. Vasishta heard this and immediately went to the terrace where he found Hanuman singing the praises of Ram while snapping his fingers. Vasishta slowly went near Hanuman and gently woke him up from his deep meditation. Accept my greetings, Guruji. Hanuman, please come with me. Hanuman, still snapping his fingers, followed Vasisht. When he saw Lord Ram's open mouth and tears, he was extremely upset. Immediately, tears rolled down his cheeks too. And he stopped snapping his fingers. As soon as he stopped snapping his fingers, Ram's mouth closed. Hanuman sobbed inconsolably. Son, from now onwards you, only you are fit enough to take care of Lord Ram and serve his every need. Nobody will object to this ever again. Thank you, Mother. Hanuman felt as though he had been blessed with the most valuable gift in the whole world and he started praising Sita. Sita blessed him. She came to the conclusion that everybody has a right to serve the Lord. But a true devotee has the biggest right of them all. <laughs>